Hello commanders and welcome in part 7 of the Chinese Empire series and today we are going to launch Operation Red Dragon. Today's operation is going to be the gateway for the greatest battle in this game, the greatest battle in this series and also the most important one that is going to settle on the faith, the destiny and of course the result of this game. Because two giants they are going to collide into each other, the winner is going to be the winner of the game the winner is going to be the commanding empire of the game so today we are going to start our preparations for the first nation in the game which is Algeria Algeria who is leading a coalition of five nations we are going to mention Italy Ukraine uh, Poland and uh, Algeria also they have Nigeria by their side of course they um, control all of Europe and half of uh, Africa, which is going to make them a very tough coalition. Yet, this is not going to stop the Chinese Empire from expanding. We saw that Algeria is taking down lands very fast. He already is at uh, 1,100 points and he is advancing so quickly to the solo win. I don't know, maybe he will be waiting for his allies for the coalition win and maybe he might go out for the solo win. Here in the gateway of the Persian Gulf, he is closing that sea with his navy's level 4 frigates. Literally, he developed his frigates overnight. Yesterday we saw them at level 2, now they are at level 4. He is not joking around and he wants to have the naval superiority. Here I am facing a little trouble because my attack summaries, they do not have the range of 100, still at range of uh, 75. I cannot attack him from high seas, so in order to attack that uh, blue dot, I need to get into the shallow waters. This is a very bad thing and it's a concrete example why I always say if you want to play with attack submarines you need to have the range as soon as possible. Now I am facing the trouble that I am not having the full range of subs and this can um, of course can cause some um, some bad circumstances some bad things you know because when you attack from shallow waters if he has like destroyers or good navy he might be a problem. Here I'm trying to uh, get a bit from the same uh, the same intersection from him. I do not want to cut off with war with him, but Operation Red Dragon is uh, two meters away. I need to be the first one to attack to be able to make the surprise assault. Algeria is not to be taken lightly. He is a very tough uh, enemy, and uh, of course. When you see his economy, when you see his nation, you can understand that he isn't joking around. Here you see that as soon as I get in the range of that uh, blue dot, I am in shallow waters. Shallow waters mean half of my hit points and no attack bonus. It's very important, boys. It's very important to operate your attack submarines in high seas. I wanted to show you this. I wanted to attack from shallow waters to make you understand the consequences of this attack and let's proceed with red dragon operation uh, you clearly see that my um, attack submarines they are extremely heavy in the shallow waters I cannot pull off the uh, hit and run strategy because they are heavy and also I put the aggressive mode and the aggressive mode is not also good in the hit and run strategy because your ships they are going to be stuck in attacking these informations they are very important to perform a very successful hit and run in the last episode uh, one of our followers he asked me to show you how to use the hit and run strategy if you want to use the hit and run strategy first of all you need to always be in the high seas operate in the high seas to benefit of the speed boost and second of all do not use the aggressive mode uh, control fire Okay, now the land invasion. I am going to use the attack range of my uh, motorized infantry for my favor. I'm not going to the center of the cities. I am going to the front lines of the cities to be able to uh, let my uh, motorized infantry do the work from distance. At the same time, I'm going to cover them from behind with some uh, Taut Artilleries. Taut Artilleries, they have the range of 50. They can be useful to attack from distance and also I will perform some air strikes with my level 4 strike fighters that I recently developed. I have uh, a, a ready stack of 5 now and also more they are under production. This is a stack of 10 motorized effigies. I'm going to send it straight to the heart of uh, the lands of Iran that are under the rule of Algeria. You see that Algeria here 
conquered all of Iran uh, overnight, which is uh, which is very good. It's very interesting, actually, to destroy such a nation in a very short time because I have to mention that uh, Iran has a lot of mountains and of course mountains they reduce the speed of your units so actually if you conquer a nation full of mountains overnight that means that you have a lot of land units a lot of infantry scattered all around to be able to conquer such a nation, nation very quickly this is our large scale invasion from all the borders, the common borders between Algeria and China. Now I am going to enter from all the sides. This is good to enter from all the sides. If he has uh, air force and he wants to attack us, he will be losing a lot of time to intercept us all because I am going to attack him from all the sides. The good thing that we have uh, some um, mobile on tier, they will be useful actually to uh, defend our land units. I do not have a lot because I didn't have time to produce a lot because actually Algeria he pushed me to accelerate my build. I wanted to focus on my economy first and later on build a decent army but after I saw how Algeria is expanding so fast and he is already on my borders I figured out that I need to accelerate things. Okay the good thing here that our attack submarines they do they did not receive a lot of damage because you know frigates they do not have a lot of damage versus submarines the other good thing also that uh, his uh, stack of frigates has used its attack so it is under the refueling time for uh, 60 minutes in that window of 60 minutes I'm going to get closer my stack of five frigates and hit him another news that this stack of five frigates has killed one frigate our stack of attack subs has killed one frigate. So now, we killed two frigates and lost nothing. A good start now. Actually, it's a bad start. I never want my uh, ships to be uh, touched. Actually, I want to use the hit and run always and uh, um, like proceed and kill other ships without being touched. Here, actually, we have been touched because I really wanted to show you the important thing about the range, the attack range for the attack submarines and also the most important thing that the, you always need to uh, operate in high seas these things they are very important to perform the hit and run strategy successfully my stack of five frigates is getting closer with attack of uh, damage of 30 versus uh, ships he has uh, two cities of uh, naval bases level two, so he is spamming frigates for sure. I do not have, I do not know if he has any um, naval defenses in front of his homeland cities, but my sharks, they are getting closer. Okay, let's have a look at the situation of this battle. These two kingdoms, these two empires, the Chinese Empire versus the Algerian Kingdom. Look at that! Look at that! It's amazing! It's like two beasts colliding into each other it's going to be one of the greatest battles in all of our series guys this is the classification as algeria is the first one and i am totally surrounded by his coalition his coalition all of his coalition members they are in the top 10 ranking also we have another coalition that he is uh, playing and active which is the american one uh, they might be a problem in the future, but now our first problem is Algeria. We need to pull off a successful campaign to be able to uh, have chances to win this game in solo and create the Chinese Empire. Will the Red Dragon operation will be successful? We will never know until we see the next episodes, guys. So do not forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, do not forget to visit our Discord server to uh, give us your feedback, to give us your strategies, your, uh, your ideas about this game and this war. If you have any advice for me, put it in the comment section and I will gladly hear all of your suggestions and advices. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one where the fun begins. Bye bye.